been a crazy week in America. Let's find out what happened. Due to the pandemic, the Capitol building has been closed to the general public for nearly 21 months. So if you want to see the inside, you just have to walk right in. <laughs> U.S. general warned in an interview this week that China is rapidly developing its space military capabilities, which explains that new moon. <laughs> it's fully operational. What? This is it's a nerd, nerd joke. Well, explain it, Tarek. Oh well, well there's a there's a uh, calamari uh, kind of species called uh, General Akbar. Yeah. Right, and he's like, you know, he's it's the admiral. It's a trap guy. It's a trap. Yeah. And it's fully operational. Oh. He, I can't he has believe you two made lines? Me. He has more than a he has a few lines. Oh, has, good for Admiral Akbar. Yeah. It's fully operational. Oh. Have you tried the salad bar? He's got a few lines. Watch it again. See? The roughing show is for everybody. Yeah. That's what you get for approving a joke. You don't really know anything about yeah. it. <laughs> Traces of cocaine have reportedly been found in 11 spots in the British Parliament. Even worse, the spots were all under this guy's nose. <laughs> cocaine went straight to his hair. Yeah. According to recent reports, a British man who spent eight years building the nation's largest model train set initially kept it hidden from his girlfriend. And I know what you're thinking, girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, more like Kip her hidden. From it's a trap! Oh. It's fully <laughs> operational. Who gets it? Admiral Akbar? Yeah. yeah. Admiral yeah, Akbar. Same, so. Same circle. We're all, we're all learning. Yeah. We're all getting a little less cool. <laughs> Authorities in Saudi Arabia have reportedly banned over 40 camels from a beauty contest after learning they had received Botox injections, not to mention implants. <laughs> Throw some, throw some D's on it. <laughs> a fight broke out last week at a Canadian football league game after a player from the Toronto Argonauts climbed into the stands and punched a fan of the Hamilton Tiger Cats. Or maybe I just made up both those team names. You'll never know. You'll never know. They're as foreign to you as Admiral Akbar is to me. Have and you tried the salad bar? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the Admiral Akbar Show. And finally, Tuesday was National Illinois Day. This calls for some champagne. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! That was the dialogue. Yay! Are you guys having fun? Oh, they seem like they're fine. Fun. Oh, okay. You like it? Great. I'm glad you're having fun because the doors are locked down. Y'all can't leave. Now, let's keep talking about the news. So, on Saturday, a group of white supremacists calling themselves the Patriot Front marched through Washington, D.C., carrying American flags and chanting, Reclaim America. And the demonstration was caught on video. Which brings us to a segment called Some Petty Observations. is dangerous and anti-American. But also, can we talk about their complete lack of rhythm? Uh, look at this. Oh, what is happening? What are you doing? What are these people stepping on? The ones and sevens? That is the sloppiest beat I have ever heard in my life. It sounds like he picked up the sticks and then just dropped them on the drums. The sound they made are the sound that they're going with. These guys, they were protesting America and across the street, a group of metronomes was protesting them. Also, flopping around, flopping like a bunch of right-wing scarecrows have come to life. Also, now conservatives want to wear face masks? This photo is more hypocritical than a vegetarian eating a meat lover's pizza. Those aren't even good face masks. It looks like you were putting on a shirt and you accidentally put your face in the sleeve hole. Also, you're trying to intimidate people and the best outfit you could come up with was the uniform from Blockbuster Video. 
what are you trying to intimidate me into doing? Rewinding. <laughs> this is the most pathetic display of tough guy attire I have ever seen. This guy's not sure if he wants to ethnically cleanse America or slide into first. <laughs> and check out this man's homemade shield. Where did you get that? He man's Etsy shop? What you fixing to do? Are you fixing to fight or sled down a hill? Look, the rise of white supremacist groups in America is a serious problem. According to the ADL, racist propaganda is at an all-time high in our country. We should take these groups seriously, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't also make time for some petty observations. Now, there's one more important news story I want to talk about tonight. The makers of Kool-Aid recently issued a recall for the beverage because it may contain pieces of metal and glass. Here to comment, please welcome the Kool-Aid man. Hey, Amber, happy to be here. Kool-Aid man, where are you? Oh, I'm behind this wall. Oh, well, are you gonna do the thing? What thing? The thing where you crash through it. Oh, yeah, uh, no. But that's what you're known for. It's your signature move. You crash through the wall and you yell, oh, yeah. Oh, so you think the only way for Kool-Aid to be entertaining is to break through walls and carry on like a buffoon? Well, sorry. You'll have to find a different beverage to make you a fool. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. you just, it's just always been my dream to see this happen in real life. No, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm just really stressed about this recall. It used to be that when you thought about Kool-Aid, you thought about having fun. But now I'm associated with danger. This recall is ruining my reputation, and I'm stressed. Well, if it makes you feel better, I still think you're fun. You do? Yeah. When I think of you, I think of summertime and birthday parties and lemonade stands. I think of good times. Really? Really? And I bet a lot of other people feel the same way. Wow. <laughs> you see, I thought things were over for me. Oh, no way, Kool-Aid man. I think they've just begun. You're right. This recall isn't going to bring me down. I'm going to prove to the world that I still got it. Here I come! Kool-Aid man? Kool-Aid man? Are you okay? What he loved. <laughs> <laughs>